the Missouri National Guard one-on-one. -on -one. Missouri National Guard, always ready, always there. All right, Mizzou 5-0 heads to Georgia this weekend to take on the Bulldogs, and we're joined by head coach Gary Pinkle and coach. Let's start right there. Big win at Vanderbilt on Saturday, and you mentioned to me in our postgame interview how, how high you've been on this team for a while, and uh, I can remember you telling me that even going back to August. And what is it that you saw then that you feel like we're all seeing now with this team five games in and still undefeated? Well, I, I just, uh, you get this sense of, um, you know, closeness that they have. Uh, you know, the leadership is outstanding. Uh, the communi communication is great. You know, you know, the whole team aspect is just, uh, and, the, and the determination that goes with that. And I think that all, that all kind of, that all flows together. And, and so it doesn't mean you're going to win all your games, but that means that you've got a football team that really, it's real important to. And they work hard, and they uh, and they and they're committed, and they give they give a lot of their free time to, to be good, and uh, so uh, I'm pleased uh, with their efforts, and, and want to keep uh, keep working hard. Michael Sam once again back to back three sack games earns him another SEC uh, defensive lineman of the week honor, and you know we talked about it a little bit after the game the other day, but just the energy, the emotion, and the skill he brings to the game is, is really something else, isn't it? Well, he's a really good athlete, and it's kind of interesting. You, you look at, you know, his, he's been here for quite a few years, and his senior year, all of a sudden, he's playing at this outstanding level when he played good before. But uh, his energy level, his, his, how, how hard he's playing every single play is outstanding. It's a great, uh, it's a great uh, visual aid for any of our younger players, anybody to, to just to point to him. And, you know, when, when you give that much effort on every single play, along with being a really good athlete, a lot of good things happen, and uh, certainly appreciate uh, his work ethic. He's really spearheading some great play by your your defensive line, and and there were uh, you know outside folks who were concerned about the the D line losing Sheldon Richardson, but they just really have not missed a beat. And Coney Ely seems like another guy who's really helping out with that. Yeah, Coney and Shane Ray is done a good job. Uh, you know, uh, Marcus is really doing a good job too. And I think you know, and, and inside you know, I think we're 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 really, really holding up well too. So it's a good group of players. You know, I think any any time you start building a football team. But it's offense, offense or defense. You know, you're, you're going to look up front to begin with, and uh, very fortunate. Uh, you know, have a, have a really good uh, defensive line, and it's going to be certainly be tested as we get going to the remainder of the SEC schedule. And on the flip side, in the trenches, uh, this offensive line continues to play so well. You continue to lead the SEC in rushing. And, and what can you say about uh, well, not only the rushing, but the the balance on offense you've had, and, and just kind of the way the O line is playing all together. Well, you know, they're they're, they're going to. We have some really good the quarterbacks. Obviously, James playing at a very high level. Sort of the receivers and running backs. We have a lot of playmakers on this team, and, but it's not going to work unless you got an offensive line, and that's where it starts. And that's 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 the that's a great observation. That you know that that's that's the consistency there that we have right now it is a lot to do with because we've stayed healthy and we've been able to keep improving and getting better. And uh, you know, knock on wood, hopefully we can continue to do that. But um, they allow all those things to happen. They allow James Franklin to distribute the football. You look at this week, and obviously a big challenge in uh, Georgia. They, they've looked like one of the best teams in all of college football so far this season. What are some of the keys that you look at as you begin to open up your scout of the Bulldogs? Well, Mark's done a great job of that program, and you know, obviously they got very good players. So, uh, you know, we, what we expected. Uh, they're, uh, they're, you know, they're defensively they have a lot of, a lot of athletes. So, you know, they do a lot of different things and cause a lot of different problems there. Offensively, you know, quarterback's a great player. Uh, Murray is just he's an outstanding player. And, and, uh, and so he's got a lot of, a lot of people who can make plays around him. Their offensive line probably is, is one of the best we'll play all year. So, you know, we're, have, you know, we're going to have our, our challenges. It's going to be competing. You know, you're not going to win every, every play out there, but that's, that's when you get you know, two, two good teams play. There'll be some battles going on. So uh, we're excited about the opportunity. Hey, finally, before we let you go, that crowd of Mizzou fans in Nashville on, on Saturday, I mean, we've heard upwards of maybe seven or 8,000 people down there, and you could tell, especially in the post-game celebration, how much your players really appreciated that support. Well, you know, it's funny, when I was walking out when pre-game stuff, and I saw all these Mizzou fans everywhere, and people, you know, I had a bunch of friends down there and, and said they were Mizzou people all over the town, you know, the night before and, and that day. And um, I was just thinking, boy, it would be great if our guys can run over there and sing a fight song in front of those guys, which traditionally we do. And it was really, uh, it was great to see that and the enthusiasm and, and uh, I'm very, very appreciative of all those people being there. All right, Coach, we appreciate your time. Good luck this week at Georgia. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Coach Gary Pinkle, Tigers take on the Georgia Bulldogs. That's this Saturday, 11 a.m. Central Time. You can see the game on ESPN.